Hello there everyone, and welcome. This is your host, Paga Wiggy, and today we're going to be learning about the Evening Star. Before I start, I want to thank all of you who have subscribed and helped to support this channel. If you are a subscriber, after this video, please watch the subscriber giveaway video down below in the description for details on how to win a $30 Steam card and a GTX 1060. Unfortunately, YouTube is doing its best not to promote this video, so I just wanted to reiterate about the giveaway so you all have a fair chance at winning. Also, if you aren't subscribed, you can do so now and still enter the giveaway. Well, let's get to the club. The Evening Star was known throughout medieval Europe as the Morning Star, or Morgenstern in German. I am not certain why the devs have decided to call it the Evening Star in Mordhau, but a forum post I read suspects that it's an astronomy joke. This is because Venus can sometimes be referred to as the Morning Star when it appears near dawn during a certain portion of the year, and then it can be seen again later in the year, at dusk, at which point it is called the Evening Star. Regardless of this, the Morning Star is a bludgeoning weapon similar to a mace, but the primary difference is that a Morning Star is covered in sharp spikes, whereas a mace can have, at most, flanges. A typical Morning Star would be very similar to the Evening Star in Mordhau, a wooden shaft with a massive head or ball at one end that is covered in spikes. Morgenstern came into prominent use in Europe near the 14th century. They were especially popular in Germany, eventually being used by the Landsknechte. The design and use of the Morning Star varied. It was used by infantry, peasants, and the cavalry. Due to wood being the basis for the weapon, they could be produced by skilled and unskilled craftsmen alike. This meant that the Morning Star were often used by civilians because of the simplicity of the design. The Morgenstern was effective enough that it could penetrate weak portions of armor, if designed correctly, and it was utterly devastating against unarmored opponents. Like many of the weapons in Mordhau, the Morning Star fell out of use when firearms became more prominent in Europe. However, small handheld versions were used during the First World War. In Mordhau, the depictions of the Evening Star are spot on in relation to their medieval counterparts for the Morning Star. The cosmetic options for the Evening Star in Mordhau are a bit unfaithful to how the weapon was in real life. Two of the examples are exactly what you'd expect to see on a real Morning Star. The Abendstern, which literally translates as Evening Star, and the Rattler skins. The Warden Grand Mace skin is essentially a big mace, and the Gutentag head is a slightly different weapon than your typical Morning Star. But regardless, they all look pretty great. In Mordhau, the Evening Star functions much like a quicker maul, with better reach but less damage. The maul can one-shot a level 3 helm, but the Evening Star will take two. Using the Evening Star with drags in extreme close range is the way to go with this weapon. Its great damage means your enemy doesn't have much room for error, but your limited reach compared to most other weapons means you need to stay in pretty close range. While this weapon is faster than the Maul, it's slower than most of the weapons in the game. So if you can balance this fact with the fact that it's so powerful, this weapon will do you wonders. Well, let's rate it. In terms of general utility, this weapon isn't the best, but its power can make up for it. Its alternate attack doesn't change up its attack much, just the timing and the range, but that can help throw off an enemy in a pinch. In all, it's a decent option, but by no means is it the most utilitarian weapon in the game. The Evening Star will receive a 3 out of 5 in terms of general utility. In terms of dueling effectiveness, this thing is a beast like the Maul. Its two hit kills are very unforgiving, and if you're an expert with it, you can be nearly impossible to beat. So it gets 4.5 out of 5 in terms of dueling effectiveness. Like many of the bludgeoning weapons in the game, the Evening Star lacks most in terms of team play. This is because of its lack of range and slow attack speed. This makes it great for 1v1, but in the hectic nature of front lines, it can be difficult to manage this weapon. It's not as bad as some weapons, but it's fairly average, so it will receive 3.5 out of 5 in terms of team play. In terms of visual appeal, this weapon really does it all. It has a gorgeous skin that makes you shudder, the Warden Grand Mace, and it also has that Abenstern skin that scares the shit out of you, especially if you were to think that would be shoved up your ass. To imagine that thing being swung in your direction is quite terrifying and for this variety it will receive 5 out of 5 in terms of visual appeal. That means the Evening Star will receive 16 out of 20 total points, a fairly beast weapon.
Well, that's it for this episode, everyone. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, please hit that like button. Subscribe and comment for more great content just like this. Just to reiterate, if you want to enter the giveaway, please watch the subscriber giveaway video listed in the description below. There is also an update on upcoming content for this week on this channel. Thank you again so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.